How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Wish. If you drink tea every day, you're going to start to want to make it better and better every single day. Now what I normally do is microwave some water and put the tea bag in. I've been doing this for years until I realized the water was not hot enough to steep black tea. So I started using a pot, boiling the water and then steeping it for 3 minutes. It quickly became apparent that I needed a teapot. I worked with Minnows Living and they sent me this 17 ounce teapot here. Now this thing looks really fancy to me and it actually costs two to three times what you think it normally would cost. So it is quite pricey. However, it's made out of stainless steel and it looks very durable and it looks like it can basically last you a lifetime. Before I go over the features of this teapot and brew some tea, let me unbox it for you. The front looks like this, the side, the back, the other side, and then the bottom here it says half liter teapot. That's why it's 17 ounces. Different color silicone handles. Nothing else in the box, you don't really need instructions for a teapot. I sort of like the red color one, so I'm going to replace it with the red here. You see this handle is held together by two spot welds. If you're going to use this for like 10 plus years, this would be the failure point here, I think. Let me put the silicone handle in here so you can actually hold the thing while it's really hot. Fits right in. I guess you just open up the pot. The side has these little tabs, so I guess it just kind of clicks in there and it won't fall off. And then the inside has this stainless steel strainer thing. This is so you can put loose leaf in there and then boil it at the same time. Pretty handy. You can see the inside of it like that. And then the front metal spout here, tiny hole here to let out the steam when this thing is boiling. You might think that this thing is so shiny that maybe it'll stick a lot of fingerprints. So let me put my finger in there. And uh, you can see a little bit of fingerprint on there, but not much. It's not bad. You can still hold it, I guess. So I'm just going to give this thing a wash and prepare some tea. Just open the lid, take the tea strainer out. I measured about 10 ounces of water here. Put your choice of tea. I'm putting this Bell brand New Zealand tea in there. I actually don't need the strainer, so I can just put the tea bag right in there. Oops, just kidding. I need to wait for the water to boil first before I put the tea bag in. I just turned the heat on so you can see the bottom is hot, but the teapot is not hot yet. Thanks JF for this thermal imaging camera. I traded something I had for this camera that he had. I was hoping to see the steam come out and it'll be red hot, but right now it's not very much. So you just open up the lid. Ow, ow, ow. The handle right here is pretty hot, so that's a drawback. So let me stick that in and maybe cover it back up. You can see steam coming out of that little hole right there. Okay, it's done. This part is metal here and it does feel a little hot. Okay, let me pour out the tea. So that's good, the lid doesn't fall off. I know sugar is not that good for you, but I generally still need to put in one teaspoon of it. This is milk tea after all. And then I put in some organic half and half. Mix that and it looks pretty much done. There you have it, a cup of very well brewed tea. Mm. Usually when you boil the black tea for a full three minutes, it releases all the potential out of the black tea that you have. So if you use something like just a hot water dispenser or you microwave the water, you're not really getting the full potential out of your tea. So do try getting a teapot if you're really into teas, it'll really elevate things for you. If you're interested in this particular teapot, which is the Minos Living 17 ounce teapot, I'll leave an affiliate link down in the video description below. If you're interested in supporting this channel, I'll have an Audible link and a Gamefly link down in the video description below. I also have a Patreon over here and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.